Hey, welcome back. We're in the book of Exodus. We're in chapter 8 now, verses 8 to 12. Moses and Jethro have gotten together. The family's back together. And now Moses and Jethro have gone into the tent, and they're going to be talking over what has happened. Let's read the text and see how it goes and just get it straight out of the text. Moses told his father-in-law all that the Lord had done to Pharaoh and to the Egyptians for Israel's sake, all the hardship that had befallen them on the journey and how the Lord had delivered them. Jethro rejoiced over all the goodness which the Lord had done to Israel in delivering them from the hand of the Egyptians. So Jethro said, Blessed be the Lord who delivered you from the hand of the Egyptians and from the hand of Pharaoh, and who delivered the people from under the hand of the Egyptians. Now I know that the Lord is greater than all the gods. Indeed, it was proven when they dealt proudly against the people. Then Jethro, Moses' father-in-law, took a burnt offering and sacrifices for God, and Aaron came with all the elders of Israel to eat a meal with Moses' father-in-law before God. So there's lots of interesting bits here. First of all, do you notice that Moses doesn't say, look, I did this and I did that and I did this. No, it's what the Lord has done for Israel. Verse 8, look at it again. Moses is telling Jethro what God did for his people. Moses isn't saying, look, I'm the big hero here, so, you know, hooray for me. He's pointing to God. And this is Moses being the meek guy that, you know, the Bible says he is. And Moses is unloading some of the things that happened along the way on the journey. And a lot of that was, well, yeah, after we get past the Egyptians in the Red Sea, then it's the grumbling, whining, moaning people. So I don't know how much they talked about that, but they must have talked about that a little bit. And there they are. Uh, Moses has somebody human, you know, to talk to uh, and bear a little bit of that burden with him. And he has a great respect in, in history going back with Jethro. So basically, all the different advice that Jethro gives, Moses basically says yes, and he's looking up to him, and he's allowing his elders to inform him and give him some insight. So look at Jethro's reaction here in verse 9. He rejoiced over all the goodness which the Lord had done to Israel in delivering them from the hand of the Egyptians. And then he says, blessed be the Lord who delivered you. So Jethro is very pleased. He's very, uh, uh, very much positive. There's still good and evil. He sees God as a good God, and God has done mighty things and delivered this whole people. This is remarkable. And Jethro sees it. He sees it in that way. That's a pretty neat thing. What about this statement that Jethro says, well, now I know that God is better than all the other gods. Uh, that might give some people a little problem here. Like, uh, was, was he a, a worshiper of all these other uh, desert gods and things? Well, you know, we're not really, we can't be completely sure of all that, but we know there was a lot of desert gods and things, and yet he seemed to put the God of Israel first. And, you know, you can look at it like, well, there are no other gods, and the God of Israel is the true God. Or it could be that, yeah, he sort of believed in these other gods, that those actually existed, but that God, the Israel, but that the God of the Hebrews was superior. When you look at the commentary, some of these people are really worried about Jethro. Is he a believer? Is he not even a believer? Frankly, the way I've always kind of seen it, he's uh, he was a believer in Yahweh himself, just out in the desert, sort of over there in the Midian Midianite area. So anyway, we don't we don't have lots of detail here, but we know that he sees the God of heaven and earth as supreme, and that is good thing, very good thing. And I don't think that necessarily implies that he believed there were all these other gods and the the God of the Hebrews was better, or that he just learned this. I think he knew this, but he now is just saying, you know, yeah, well, we always knew this. We always knew this to be true. So the whole thing is finished off here with a big giant uh, celebration. There they are. They're at the foot, more or less, at this point of Sinai. They're having a big, uh, a big happy time as they're together, uh, glad for the deliverance that God has given. All right, we'll carry on tomorrow morning onward. God bless you.